we're going to be allowing our audience to remotely control these cameras. So I want to show quickly, I've got a little PowerPoint and I want to show quickly to everybody how we're going to be doing this, giving our audience control to be remote PTZ camera operators during this live stream. Now to do this, uh, we are going to have, so right now, this is, uh, this is great. Mike's showing the Hive software that we're going to be inviting you guys into. So this software has the live output from vMix, and it has the secondary stream to low bitrate streams from our cameras going into Hive. Essentially what's happening here is we have a live streaming system set up, multiple cameras, in our local area network. And we've got vMix set up, we've got multiple cameras, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sharing control of these cameras with our audience, and they're gonna be controlling the PTC cameras. So it kind of looks like this, where there's a studio set up and multiple people connecting to it. This is kind of brand new. We've got multiple cameras, we have wireless microphones, and we're using, I think we have vMix social set up maybe, PTC Optics High for Control, and we're streaming to YouTube. So that's, that's the setup. The interesting thing about today's setup is that the cameras are coming into vMix with NDI. Okay, so the high bit rate streams are going into locally to vMix for switching and recording and streaming. And then over the public internet, we're taking the low, lower quality stream two, the low bit rate, four megabit per second connections to Hive over the public internet. So if you join us remotely, you can connect to Hive you will be able to see this exact same interface right here. And you will be able to connect and control all of these cameras. I see I've actually got a couple people in here already. We're going to have uh, up to five camera operators. We've got five unique cameras in here. We'll take a look at this in a second here. But you'll see all these cameras are coming in at somewhat of a low bit rate between you know two and five megabits per second in Hive. You can, collect, you can click the monitoring tab and see the quality of all the cameras. Uh, don't adjust any of the advanced settings, by the way. I've already got this triggered in. I, I don't think you'll have access to that, but you might because we're all learning about this. What I do is I can type anyone's email address into Hive, invite them with the share button to be producers, to be remote camera operators. So that's what we're doing. When you get in, you will have PTZ camera control. And you'll also be in the Zoom meeting so I can talk to you and be like, hey, don't control that camera. Or I might say, hey, you know, we're going to cut. Like, get a close-up of the quilting that's happening <laughs> over here. Well, let's get a close-up. And we're going to try to listen to you guys. Okay. So we're going to be listening to the stream. So you can kind of talk directly to the audience and just say, hey, this might be a good chance to get a close-up of this quilting situation. Maybe you could help with that because you've been doing this for a while, Tess. Um, you can also color correct. So if you're zooming into something, the lighting sometimes changes. We might need to adjust the iris and shutter speed of the camera a little bit, depending, and our audience can do that for us. We've got a team of PTZ cameras, operators. So I'm excited. I, cause I thought quilting was going to be like kind of a, kind of like control thing. I was like, this will be so easy, but you guys were moving around and there was a yeah, lot going on. Yeah, we had a lot going on. Oh, a lot yeah. To demonstrate. yeah. So you gotta, gotta, it's like cooking. You know, you got to have your station it set up. It is like up cooking in a way. Yeah. You're getting There's up. You're moving steps. around. There's mm -hmm. different tools. Essentially, what you're seeing here is th in the top left, this is the vMix output. So right. It looks like a multi-view. There's actually like a windowing thing happening. But ignore that. This camera here, Dean is controlling. So Dean's controlling camera one. He's got it zoomed in on me now. Uh, Dean was also helping with camera two here. It's over there. we have on you guys. There was a camera over here on this side that we were using. Wow. Um, my favorite camera, actually, I think was this one. And he had it zoomed in. I'll just use this oh. tool to zoom it in. We were looking like right up as close as we could right there. Wow. That's and wonderful. It was really coming through pretty good. That's really cool. Looking. So we've got some good shots here. I'll show that full screen so you can see. And Dean was setting some presets on a way to involve our audience a little bit more mm, with yeah, the camera to control. Interact with the content. Um, was there anything, any questions in the chat? No, mostly just words of affirmation. I thought people okay. thought it was cool. Nice. Uh, no particular questions, but our audience members probably aren't that much sewers. They're more technical. 
but they found it interesting at least that we were sharing something different yeah so. <laughs> yeah as as paul said there's a lot of movement in this i know i think for us as presenters it was easy to kind of let everyone in the back room do do their thing and yeah knowing we could move wherever and and place the fabric wherever and yeah. people would find us it was cool to learn about cool. something new today so i'm glad that you came oh good yeah anytime anytime all right. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for joining everybody. It was a blast. I thought it was a lot of fun. And we are excited about what we've learned today, I think. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. I was like, okay, how do we do, how does this new, this is for us, this is a new workflow. Yeah, right? you learned about the stream and the technology. I learned about sewing. <laughs> I know, it's funny. I'll fill you in on the streaming part. Yeah, right. I'll fill you in on that part later. <laughs>